it occurred to me that in my last two videos I didn't really introduce myself properly so I thought I'd do that now. Um, I'm Jane Smith, S-M-Y-T-H. A lot of people say Smythe but I say no, no, it's Smith. So uh, peace y'all, as they say in the States actually, as they say in the South. Um, as you can tell I have somewhat of an accent. Um, but I live in America. I, I was born in England and my parents and I came to America when I was a small child. And so I have a little bit of an accent, but um, I don't know, people from England or British people say, oh, you're so American. And then American people are always like, oh, you're so British. And I think that if I'm around a more uh, American speakers, I tend to downplay my accent a little bit so it always comes and goes or if I'm around my parents or other people from England or something I tend to speak more with that accent um, also if I've been drinking then I tend to um, become a little more British as it is um, so my parents uh, they're Margie and Russ Smith they live pretty close in the home I grew up in, uh, which I guess has, you know, has my room with all my um, childhood artifacts, artifacts and memories. But you know, it's like, it's like uh, I was saying earlier, like the movie screen memories, not really my life or something. I don't know. I work in a shop downtown. Not much to say about that. Pays the bills. And. What else? I was in hospital recently. I had sort of a breakdown. I say they say. I don't really remember what or why. And the, the doctors, they gave me these pills and I'm supposed to take them and it's supposed to make me feel better, make me live a normal life. But when I take them, I I forget. I don't remember the place and, and, and the man. And I can't, I can't dream. I don't have the dreams, so sometimes I don't take them, and I guess that's bad. Um, I have a boyfriend, and um, his name is, is Justin, Justin Walker, and uh, well, when we met actually when I was in hospital, he was uh, working at the cafeteria at the time, he doesn't work there anymore, but anyways, um, it's actually a really funny story how we met. He was working at the cafeteria and there was this room that was always locked and I was so bored. I, I, you know, I was always just kind of creeping around trying to find something to do and I just preferred to be by myself. And I found this, this room and it, it, was, it, was, it was one of the bedrooms but it was locked and it was never open and nobody lived in there. And so I was always going in there or trying to go there and see if I could get in. And, um, I saw this sitting on one of the beds and I was like, oh, I'm not getting to get there. And it was kind of like a, like a, it kept my mind busy. Like I was like, I have to get that. I have to go in there, you know, can I do it? You know, how can I get in there? And I was always like scheming and planning, like maybe I could steal the keys when the nurses aren't looking and go and I don't know. And, um, I never really paid attention to to Justin. He just worked in the cafeteria, but I guess he was watching me because he would see me going and, and looking into that room. And one time, I after dinner, I was creeping over there, and, and I found the door unlocked, and and he was in there, like sitting there. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, you know. I, I you know, and I tried to leave, and he's like, No, no, no. I can see that you've always wanted to come in here, and uh, I'm Justin. And I said, Well. I'm Jane and and this was on the bed and I was like that's actually that's why I wanted to come in here because I it, I just wanted it you know no real reason it was just something to, to try to get competition or something like that can I do it and um, so we started hanging out there when he had breaks and we'd sneak in there and hang out and play checkers and and other games like that it's not a lot of things to do in the hospital. You have to kind of find ways to amuse yourself. Um, one of those times we were playing checkers and we had to close up because he had to go back to work 
and closed up the board and we're sitting there just talking for a couple minutes and he just leaned over and kissed me and it was really it was really quite nice and then soon after that I got out of hospital and went back to my normal life and started getting my life together, you know. Got the job in the shop and I thought, well, that's it then. But he's got mad investigative skills and he didn't forget. And one day he he located my shop and he showed up and asked me out for coffee and it just went from there. He's a really nice guy. I'm sure you'll meet him. Um, so that's all I can think about, really, that I want to tell you about my life. I don't really want to tell you what state I live in, but I will give you a hint. Anyone who can figure this out, mad props to you. Here's the hint. <laughs>